From Options, you can manage the default information used to complete various forms as well as customize tax cycle to your usage preferences. Let's look at the options that control the tax preparation process. Edit allows you to set your data editing preferences such as overriding calculated fields, how you prefer to work with decimals, clear review marks you or a colleague added when the value of the field is modified, activate the repeat key, Highlight the description of the field where the cursor is positioned. Choose how you want autocomplete to work and keystrokes history to be saved. The keystroke history is saved in a folder which can be shared with other colleagues. Click View Autocomplete History to open the folder or Clear Autocomplete History to delete it. Set your preference on the use of capitals. Choose to close the tabs by pressing the Escape key to restore the tabs from the previous session, as well as the positioning of the tabs when opening a new form. And configure how the tape and timer works. Display allows you to set how values get displayed on the forms. If you have a large monitor or more than one monitor, you can allow a new window to open or tear off a form tab to create a new window. Invoicing. If you use TaxCycle for invoicing, this is where you can define the invoice number and sales tax number and province. If you are using a QuickBooks product, you have the option of posting invoices to the desktop or online version. Sidebar is the bar that shows the forms that are used when a return is open. It can be positioned on the left or right side of the form. You can choose to have boxes displayed on the left of the forms, which can serve as a checklist, highlight the open form, as well as select the default tab on which returns will open. Dialog. These are the messages that appear before an action takes place. Uncheck the boxes for the dialogues you do not want to see. Each module has a set of options which are customized separately. What I will discuss with T1TP1 is relevant for all other modules. You can set options by year. Expand the section and click on the year. To copy the settings to another year, right click on the year to be copied. You can copy to an earlier year, to a later year, or to all years. Note, next year when you install the new module, the settings for the new year will automatically get copied from the prior year. General allows you to change the on-screen colors and background of forms. Change colors to distinguish between family members and add the tax year in the background of previous years only. Check the box to automatically lock the return when each taxpayer's return has been successfully transmitted or has been checked as completed in the workflow. New file is where you set the default field values for new or carried forward files, which then allows you to save time by not having to enter the same data on each return. For returns already created, if the value of the field differs from these settings, TaxCycle will display a review message with a link to quickly update the return. The Carry Forward section allows you to choose what type of data will be included in the Carry Forward process. Default values cover more general data such as the taxpayer's city and province of residence, assuming it is always the same for all your clients, the language of correspondence, the citizenship, as well as the pre- and post-assessment contact person. Then we find the sections by form. Autofill My Return controls how data is imported into the tax return. Since the names on the client's mutual fund statements are often different from those downloaded from the CRA, reconciliation becomes difficult, especially if you want to group similar slips and keep it consistent from year to year. Using Slip Match Machine Learning, automatically matches T3 slips downloaded from the CRA 
to a mutual fund name list downloaded in TaxCycle. By default, the import T5008 slips is checked. However, no T5008 slips will be available to import if CRA has more than 500 on file for the taxpayer. Price is where you specify your hourly or form rates. If you are invoicing based on an hourly rate, the calculation is done according to the time spent working on the return according to the timer. As a reminder, the timer is activated in the Edit options. Set any administration surcharge or discount rates applicable to all invoices. Check the boxes to invoice by schedule, by hour, or both. Check the box if you want the invoice to show the price charge per schedule. Use the search box to find a form in the list and enter the rate. Check the box in the asterisk column to show the item on the invoice even if there is no charge. Scroll to the right to change the text that will appear on the invoice. To list only the items with a price assigned, click the Hide Zero Dollar Items link. You can export or print the price list from the links on the top right. You can incrementally increase or decrease all prices in one click using these links. Variance allows you to set the thresholds and fields that will trigger a review message to appear when comparing snapshot values with the return values. Workflow helps you to track the progress of each tax return. This can be customized to your needs. Drag and drop tasks to reorder them or move them to another group. You can also drag and drop groups to change the order. Clear the show checkbox to hide unwanted tasks. If all the tasks in the groups are hidden, the group will not appear. Check the required box if the task is required to consider the group complete. If there is no required box checked within the group, as soon as a task is complete, the entire group will be marked as complete. The tasks, though they are checked in options, will only appear in the taxpayer's file if they are relevant to their situation. The return completion group contains tasks required to consider the entire return completed. This is used in Client Manager and anywhere tax cycle reports on return completion. The All Filing Complete task will be marked as complete once all family members' returns and forms each one must file has been transmitted or printed for mailing. Click Show Only Visible Tasks to hide tasks where show is unchecked. Click Export Task List to export it to an Excel file. Click Restore Defaults to restore tasks and groups to the built-in defaults.